Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. If you guys are brand new here, hi, my name is Crystal. It is very nice to meet you. You know what would be so freaking awesome? If you guys took a quick second to go down and hit that subscribe button so that we can become buddies because I want to be like this, guys. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. I love you so very much. Let's go ahead and get right into this video. One thing that I find very soothing is painting, but I also find it very stressful because if it doesn't go the way that I want it to go, then it gets stressed out. But for the most part, it's pretty calming. And I have been wanting to paint. I've been seeing a lot of people painting recently and I'm like, oh my gosh, everyone is a freaking artist. <laughs> I'm going to be attempting to recreate this painting right here. Um, this is an awesome painting I came across on Pinterest and I was like, I wanna recreate that. Can I recreate it? I don't know, but we'll try it. I also looked up a couple of fun questions that I'm going to be asking myself throughout this time. But also, if you guys like, you can go down and comment your answers to these questions so I can get to know you as well. But yeah, let's just go ahead and get right into it. I have like my one brush I always reach for because it's just like the one I'm used to. Someone stole from me. Hold on. Okay, it looks like I'm filing a police report because somebody stole my favorite brush i always like to start off with pencil because i just feel like it's safer for me okay i'm gonna be using a pencil to make some stars this painting particularly because um if you guys didn't already know i'm obsessed with like the sun and the moon so it's kind of like an astrology thing is that what you would call it like space astrology okay so first question if you guys were given the opportunity to have your palm read would you guys do it personally i don't think i would because i would be too scared to find out something bad um, and even if it was something good, I feel like I would live my life expecting for that thing to happen. So I just, I wouldn't live my life normally at that point. Like I would just, I would know or I would like constantly be thinking about something. Like if she told me you're going to like die this way, I'm going to be like, oh my God, is this when I die? You know, like I feel like it would just be eating me alive. So personally, I wouldn't be able to do it. If you were given the chance to explore the oceans, go to outer space, or visit 50 different countries, which one would you choose and why? So, I would, despite me loving the sun and the moon, I would not want to go to outer space because I'm too scared to die <laughs> in outer space. I would not want to. I don't think that's a risk I would ever be willing to take. Say I would not want to go into the ocean because I'd be too scared to die in the ocean. Um, there's just so much unknown under there. Like, I think that's really scary. I don't need to know what's under there. I'd probably be scared that the submarine would malfunction and I'd be stuck underwater and drowned to death or something. I don't know. So my answer is I would go to 50 different countries um, because, I mean, how many cultures would you be, like, exposed to? Like, that's pretty awesome. Um, you would get to see so much of the world. Like, what's on planet Earth? is pretty freaking cool so um yeah i would much rather stay on earth and visit 50 different countries i think that would just be so much you know if i made a memory at least i would be conscious enough to still have that memory whereas like in outer space i could totally die and yeah i might be on the news or something but like i don't need that i'd rather have the memory watching love is blind and i haven't finished it just because i tried i started watching it but it hasn't like caught my attention for me to like continuously watch it in one sitting i thought it was weird though the show is so fast paced like i don't know i mean they're probably on a strict like episode budget so they could probably only do like the 11 episodes i think that they did but i think it would have been better if we were able to actually get to know these people because these people are like they're getting to know each other which 
I guess is the most important part, right? They're the ones getting married. But I feel like something that would have really intrigued everyone would have been if we actually got to know these people. Cause like, we literally don't know anything about them. Like there was this one couple that literally got engaged I think like on the second date of knowing each other. And I'm like, what kind of conversation did these people have that they've already fallen in love on the second day just from talking to each other like what kind of conversation did these people have like i wanted to know that what is one of your favorite smells this is probably a weird question but i always find it interesting to hear what people like the smell of um because sometimes you think you're the only person that likes that smell but then you find out that a lot of people actually really like it too you know how like when it rains you can just smell like the wet dirt it's such a good smell or like when you turn on the ac for the first time and you get that little whip do you ever look at someone and wonder what is going on inside their head what is an annoying habit that other people have probably an annoying habit would be oh my gosh i know when people are so self-absorbed that they love to hear themselves talk and they don't ever let you talk and then like when you try to talk they get a brand new idea and then they interrupt you i really despise it when people aren't considerate of other people like i'm always thinking like how can i not inconvenience this person i'm always thinking about that and i feel like other people just don't think about that Um, what is a song or movie that really makes you cry? So this movie I'm going to tell you guys about The reason why I watched it was because I had this really big urge to cry Like I just wanted to cry I don't know if you guys ever get in those phases But there are times when I just really want to like cry and like let it all out So I kept telling my aunt that I really wanted to cry I was like I really want to watch a movie that's gonna like make me cry but like make me cry like I want to cry so bad and she's like I have the perfect movie for you and I was like okay let's go watch it so we get to her house she puts on this movie right I'm like oh my god this is so cute it's about a dog how is this gonna make me cry oh I was in for a surprise I don't know if you guys have ever seen it but it's the movie called Hachi and it's about this dog that gets adopted by this man and they end up becoming best friends every day in the morning Hachi walks with him to the train station and then goes back home and when his owner is coming back home Hachi goes and he waits for him again at the train station it's the cutest thing ever and he does this every single day like he just knows he hears the train station and he runs to go and wait for his owner for his best friend and then one day the owner just never comes back because he got a heart attack and he died. But poor Hachi didn't know that and he kept waiting and waiting. His owners tried to go and take him back home but he went back to the train station waiting for his best friend, for his best friend to come. Oh my gosh guys, I was not recording that whole part right now but we're back at this again. Sorry. Would you say you've changed much since last year? And honestly, I think I have changed a lot. Um, I feel like last year, at the beginning of last year, I was still working on myself. And I still work, I'm working on myself every single day. But um, I feel like last year, there's definitely a lot that I was working on. So I have been on YouTube for over five years now, but I was never like consistent with my videos because I just was so lost. I had no clue like what I wanted to do. I, I don't know, I feel like I just wasn't confident enough. Um, if you go back and see some of my old videos, you can definitely tell that I'm a lot more confident in me now um, because I was able to like work on myself and like improve myself for the better and like now i feel like i'm more me in my videos not that i wasn't myself but it's just like i feel like i'm more myself now
have you ever caught anything on fire while cooking? And I didn't officially catch anything on fire, like the firefighters did not show up, but I almost did cause an accident. I am not a cook, I am afraid to cook, okay? I'm so scared of oil jumping on me. Um, so I try to avoid cooking as much as possible. Like I know how to cook basic stuff, but oil is just really scary. And so like the way I cook is like the pan is right here and then this is me over here and I'm like this trying to cook. So one time I was trying to cook some hot dogs. So obviously there was oil that was jumping from the bacon that was wrapped around my hot dog. And um, I didn't want to get burned because oil is just very, very scary. Um, well, I <laughs> decided that it would be a good idea to put a cloth around my hand so that when I was cooking, nothing would jump on my skin over here. Well, little me got really close to the fire and then next thing I know, the whole cloth just caught on fire and I was like, oh my God. So I was like right here, like, what do I do, what do I do? But luckily my reflexes worked and I put it like right away in the sink and like turned on the faucet so that I wouldn't cause an actual fire. Luckily, I reacted enough in time for there to not be a fire, but yeah, it was pretty traumatizing and that's why I don't really cook. Okay guys, so let me show you guys the final result. Um, I feel like it could have done better, but there's definitely room for improvement. Um, if we never start, then we'll never learn. <laughs> so I'm not the best at shading, but you know what? Stand far away and then squint your eyes a little bit and then tilt your head and then squint your eyes a little bit more. Like it actually looks pretty good, not gonna lie. So here is the final result. Um, as you can see my clouds, <laughs> I can't really do clouds, but I tried my best and then it kind of looks like it ripped a little I don't know. Does it let me know? I hope you guys enjoyed this video Um, I wanted to ask you guys a very serious question. Are you coke or pepsi? Personally, I am coke all the way I don't like pepsi if I have to drink pepsi. I don't enjoy it, but I will drink it but coke all the way coke is like it's just the best make sure you give this video a big old like don't forget to go down and subscribe and turn on those post notifications so you guys don't miss when i post a new video but with that being said guys i will see you all later peace